Hey guys, welcome in, and this is pretty exciting. There's definitely going to be maintenance on the second, and we're getting re uh, changes for re remade re re uh, buffs for some figures, and for me, some of the exciting ones. Well, they've changed the effect of night slash and bolts, which it doesn't really say what to, but decidui. Uh, is getting a massive damage buff going from the 110 goes to 120, uh, 70 goes to 90, and I think that's so much better. It makes Decidueye way better to use on its own. Um, and don't have to worry about that gold losing to Sableyes that are chain leveled and things like that, so the gold will just have an advantage. The 120 should be able to just knock other things out, and there's a uh, glass nut is left alone, but fully evolved, it's going to be able to do 140, 110, um, and that'll be nice. So I can definitely see you getting more use that way. Articuno, I was pretty excited for this. Um, Articuno gets a buff and that makes it, um, goes as that steel wing to 130 right there. That is massive. Um, that's just going to make it that little bit of fear for people to attack in and then you've got that chance that you, everybody knows how much a steel wing rolls with Zapdos. Um, and if you can get that popping off with Articuno, you're going to be happy to roll that 130. So to, ha to be happy to roll your small piece of the wheel, I think that's pretty cool. Um, and you probably maybe get them to see a little bit more use. Um, Reshram, Zekram, uh, they've changed the ability of um, F Fusion Bolt and Flare, both their, their banishing moves. And pretty much all it says is that... You no longer need just Reshram or Zekram on the field, but any other Mon that has uh, the, the the bolt attacks, the removal attacks like that, um, then you can banish as long as there's another one on the field. So that is pretty cool. So that's going to make room for like the the Chiron Black, Chiron White, things like that. So I think those are the two are probably going to have those moves and bigger and better ones. And that's going to allow you can have one of those and then like a Zek or one of those and whatever else and still banish things. So that's what that's leading into. I don't think Chiron will probably have a... Because it's... Flare Bolt is a fire... Uh, um, and is the... I'm oh sorry, Fusion Bolt. Fusion Flare and Fusion Bolt. There's Electric and Fire, whereas Chiron is Ice. So I think he'll probably have in some sort of ice attack. Maybe he might even have ice bolt or ice flare or something like that, or fusion, fusion ice, ice fusion, whatever. Um, ice school, who knows? Um, or maybe he just won't banish at all. But he'll have freezing attacks. So if things attack into him, they can get frozen. You can use rest Zek to go and attack the frozen mon, get banish them. That will be pretty cool. Um, now down to the last buff. Trico. This is, ex I was quite excited for this. It's a little change, but it's exciting. It's exciting to see them give some love to some other of the starter figures. So they've given Trico wall climb ability, and what that is, is it's like a built in invisibility cap off the bench. So he can pass through anything from his first move on the bench onto the field. That's pretty cool. There's 3 MP. He's going to be pretty, pretty good. It's a pretty cool little effect. He can't move past the ghost types here, just here. It shows that they can't move past the ghost types, but anything else he can. So, I think that's a pretty cool, you'll be able to get some sneaky surrounds, and I think with his damage buff and his quick attack, so now he's a little gold. Um, if you use XP to them, you have a whole wheel of gold. Um, or if you use X attack, at least you'll be able to have like a gold 50 and a 70 attack. So he's going to be a little bit easier to evolve, which is pretty cool. Um, probably like X speed will probably be the best one. So like inv like a built in invisibility cap X speed into like a purple heavy mon two spaces away will be awesome. Um, and that that is quite cool and it's going to be easy way to evolve things. So I think that that's quite exciting in itself and it's exciting for me most of all not just so much that they buff Trico, but that they are looking to buff the other starter mons that have, just don't have abilities, don't have spectacular wheels. So hopefully. Hopefully all the other starter mons will start getting buffs and abilities like this. I think that'll be really exciting. I'd love to see the Gen 1s all with way better wheels or abilities. Um, that'll be exciting to me. Um, and even just things like... like a, imagine a fully evolved Blaziken um, from Torchic and that making it easier to do. Or a little bit easier, like, I mean... <laughs> not that we want fully evolved 
five star Blaziken's running around. Yeah, no, we don't want it to happen. But, say for all the other mon Swampert's and things like that, that would be awesome. Mudkip, give him some Mudkip, some awesome ability. And all these other mons like Centacool, Totodile, it would be cool to give them all some love as well as like Charmander Balls or uh, Squirtle. I mean, everybody loves them. So, I think that that is exciting. Let me know what you guys think um, about this little update. And I am just going to get back here. And I love that they are giving us like 10 camera like, every day for like the last week and a bit that that's that's been pretty nice i must say um when i'm another take it and then i believe i got gems today yay gems um also, someone was asking me earlier um how long does it take you as a free to play player to save about 500 gems and that all depends on your RNG and your luck. Um, if you have a really lucky week and I'm pulling gems so much and very often, then I can potentially get it. The fastest I've ever got to 500 gems from zero is two weeks as a free to play player. And that is pretty amazing. I was like, whoa, I got a 70, a 30, I picked up a few like 20 and 10 gems. And I was like, whoa, this is such an amazing week. Um, but normally, maybe get one every couple of days if that um so it can amazing perfect like getting heaps of gems and also having things like gyms uh gyms they give gems um team events they give gems and crew those cruise ship things all those sorts of things carnivals they give gems those are also ways that add, add on to it, but if you have quiet spells when you don't have any of those giving gems and you're not pulling them like this on a daily, um, it can take me up to about 6 weeks before I get 500 gems from 0 gems. So that's a big range, uh, from 2 weeks amazing pulls to like honestly horrible pulls only relying on like your daily login rewards. Um, and getting what you get about three or four lots of gems a week, so of 15, so you're getting 30 to 60 gems in a week. Um, it can take a while, it can take a while, and you still need to be able to pick some gems up from events. So, if events are happening every two weeks, you may get like say 30 gems between that, is what they normally give somewhere in between there. So, yeah, it can be anywhere between two to six weeks for me to save up 500 gems. And since I spent all my other 400 gems on plates just the other week, uh, I've got some saving to do. So I'll probably be missing out on the banner when it first drops. So you're going to have to look elsewhere for your pulls. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys some information. There's always people asking and wondering how does this, how I go as a free play player and how long it takes to get gems. So I just thought I'd share that with you. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to some of these buffs. Let me know who you guys are excited for. Is it Decidueye, Articuno, Trico? Um, yeah, let me know. Um, see you all soon.